Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. In today's video, I'm going to uh, show you how to just build a dashboard on the fly. Um, I have an idea for a dashboard, credit card rewards, and um, there's many um, tables of which I can grab that information from. And, uh, you know, just uh, plan to give data visualization advice along the way. Um, so let's get started. All right, so I'm going to build a new page in Power BI. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new page. Call it Credit Card Rewards. And bring it over to the just left of all the hidden ones. All right, so let's first go into it. We're going to make this a uh, report. I always like to start off with a big canvas. Uh, leave the width alone, but change this to say 5,000. Now I got a nice long canvas to build a report. All right, let's get a title. Just copy that from one of the dashboards. Call this credit card rewards. Awesome. All right. So uh, to start off, I always try to build the initial KPIs of uh, the dashboard. Um, you know, the first one would be uh, total rewards. I think I want to grab that from the transaction table. There it is, total credit card rewards. Let's put that as a KPI. Not bad, in total, that's how much I've made in credit card rewards. Let's add um, a date filter. Let's just, what do we got to work with? Let's add a connection between this and the month month date and month start date one too many yep all right let's go into the month table and uh, what filter do I like to use uh, we can try month date first as a filter That's pretty nice. I definitely am going to want to see credit card rewards over time, and I just want to see it right now. So let's copy this, turn it into a table, and let's add a um, month to it. And let's put that in a bar chart. All right, so there's my credit card rewards by month. Uh, the data starts uh, 2019, and it's about one 200 a month is what I make in credit card rewards. Uh, this is a month where you know you had to pay credit card uh, fee for my American Express. That's why it's negative, and I count that against credit card rewards. All right, so we've got total credit card rewards. I want to now also have total credit card spend. That sounds like a really nice KPI. And I think we need to create the measure. So we want to want it to be total spend, but only when it's on a credit card. So let's do a new measure. All right, total credit card spent. And it's going to be a calculate function, and it's going to be total spend. And then uh, we're going to add a filter. Um, let's just go into that table.
account type name is I think is what I'm need to look at or just let's find it account type equals credit card account account type name equals credit card or type account account type name equals credit card account. Yep. Close that. And there it is. And let's make sure it's currency and zero. And let's add it. And let's make it uh, show the whole value. So that's how much I've spent on a credit card and the dip the you know if we divide these two that would be uh, the credit card reward rate. Let's add that measure. New measure credit card reward weight rate. Total credit card rewards divided by total credit card spend if total credit card spend less than or equal to zero comma zero else so that's just going to get rid of the divide by zero there's that metric let's copy this and let's add credit card reward rate. <laughs> Got to make that a percentage. All right, display unit auto. Value decimal place is two. All right, so 2.43% is the credit card reward rate. That's, that's pretty good. All right, so those are really the main KPIs I want to see. Um, I want to see these three metrics for every credit card account. So let's add that. We'll just start with one of these, turn it into a matrix, uh, account name, account type name. Let's add this to the whole page. Credit card account. All right, let's open this up. Account name, total credit card rewards. Uh, total credit card spend. Credit reward rate. Total credit card spend is less than zero comma zero. Let's try to get zeros to show up for these. There we go. All right, I really like this table. All right, so let's add some filters. We got account type name as a global page filter. Uh, let's make account name a filter. Make it a drop down and bring that to the top. All right. Let's change this to relative date. So in the last two months, let's add uh, transactions, find date, add it as the minimum earliest KPI. So there's the earliest date. That's going to help us. Latest date. Let's make these a little smaller. 35. All right. Uh, five KPIs is enough. All right. Let's add some color to this. Maybe even add uh, spark lines. Make it a matrix. Add a spark line. Uh, total credit card rewards. The x axis is going to be month table, month date. Cancel that. All right, there's 
a nice spark line of I always like the bars better. And we'll add three spark lines for the three KPIs. Well, let's add color. What color do we want to make these? We got basically three KPIs, and so we should have three main colors. Background. All right, credit card rewards. Let's make it blue. Credit card spend. Let's make it purple. Credit card reward rate. Let's make orange. For these, make gray. That spacing looks fine. All right, let's add conditional formatting to these. So, same color as the KPI. Let's add data bars, blue. Total credit card spend in purple, data bars. We really want to make it more of a lighter color. Let's go back to this one, data bars. Make this the light version of the blue. So we're using different shades, but it's the same color. Let's make spark lines for the other three. Add a spark line. Total credit card spend by month date. One more. Total credit card rewards. Add a spark line. Credit card rewards by month date. All right. We got the three KPIs. So credit card rewards is blue. Column spend is purple. Rewards rate orange. Let's sort it by reward rate. Awesome. All right. So that's a really nice table. No one total credit card rewards. This is all time. So look how good I do with American Express. Almost 5%. Why is that? If I go to American Express. All right. This is credit card rewards by month. In blue, total credit card rewards by month. And now let's do credit card spend, total credit card rewards, total credit card spend. Change the title. And the bars would be purple. And reward rate. All right, let's add a global months ago. Account type name, filter on this page, credit card account. And we also want to add another page filter months ago, greater than or equal to zero. Credit card, credit card rewards rate. And let's make that purple, orange. Let's just hone in on American Express. We need to add another page filter. Where is the earliest of all this? 11 2 of 2018. Honestly, I didn't start receiving rewards until 7 1 2019. So let's add a global filter for that on or after 7 1 2019. All right. All right. This is this is looking pretty good. So I got dates set up right to when I just started receiving credit card rewards. Segment this by credit card account. Account name. Legend. Stacked. This is where my rewards are coming from. Chase. American Express. Wells Fargo's Active Cash, City Custom Card. It's only a handful of my uh, credit cards get rewards. We can do the thing for, same thing for total credit card spend. Segment this by account name. Stack it. 
So that's where I spend. All right. I mean, I think this is pretty good for a starter dashboard, but, you know, pretty basic. Uh, you know, I just honed in on credit card rewards. I uh, dug out three key KPIs of what, you know, it relates to the reward rate, the spend, and then the rate. Uh, I really like this table. This shows the three KPIs and then each of them over time by account name. So these are all my credit card accounts. And then I just got some bar charts. And this is fully cross filterable. So we just hone in on city custom credit card. That's how I'm spending. Wish this would go to, you know, far to the left, but um, there's an issue. Anyway. This is a nice dashboard. Uh, this is the Amazon card. But uh, I'll think of some more ways to enrich this dashboard. But, you know, for starters, this is just a nice starter exploratory dashboard that we just built. Um, I, you know, I hope you learned something about dashboarding. You know, always start with the KPIs. Nothing's really better than a table um, to jam pack the information. That's what this is. And then. I'm showing things over time, um, but uh, I'll think of some more ideas of how to visualize this type of data, and uh, stay tuned. Have a good one.